So we just started, we were looking at defer, and then we, you know, created a file to show how it could be closed, and then we opened the file to read what was in there, and to read what was in there, we went to buff.io and used a scanner, and then I started thinking, well, let's get a book, and we could count the words in a book. So we got some books here on gutenberg.org, and uh, I don't know if, you know, there's like Hemingway. Can you see any Hemingway? I don't know. What book do you guys want here? Any of them? How about like something huge, War and Peace or Ulysses or Moby Dick? Which of those three? War and Peace, people say. And uh, plain text, UTF-8, so I'm downloading this. Um, well, here, here it all is in plain text. I thought it would come down as a text file. Let me, let me do this. So right click and save link as. And um, let's go to downloads. And what was this? Which book? One piece. Okay, and let's go see in downloads. We have warpiece.txt, so that's pretty good. And now I'm going to uh, take that and go to here and create a new here 28 or piece. And then I'm going to drag that in there. So now War and Peace is in there. And I'm going to create a new main.go. Package main. Funk main. And I'm going to get a file and an error and colon equal OS open. And it's going to be a war piece txt. And save that. And just make sure that's what I called that war dash piece txt. And uh, and then if error is uh, not equal to nil, which means there is an error, I want to um, have some error check. And let's just look at what they used. And uh, um, error, front, front line, oh, standard error. And uh, let's see what OS standard error is. OS. Constant variables. We're in package buff IO, <coughs> package OS, sorry. standard error. Constant. Variable. New file, uninterpreted system call, standard error. Uint pointer syscall, standard error. Standard error is two. Um, reading input error. Okay, so we've opened that file, War and Peace, and now we want to uh, read it. So we got buff.io, when we have a file, uh, and we had OS, package OS, and when we have a file, so we opened a file, open file, we want open, open file. We want open. We gave it a name. It gave us a pointer to error. Open opens the name file for reading, right? And so when we do that, open, uh, 
open gives us a pointer to a file and error. When we have a value of type pointer to a file, all these methods are available to us. How do we know these are methods associated with the value of type pointer to a file? How do we know that? Because they have the receiver. What's that F and then the at star is a pointer file? You see that? F star pointer. So this little star, we're going to learn about pointers next week, probably. A little star is just another type. It's a pointer. We'll learn about pointers. But we know these are methods attached to any value of type pointer to a file because it's got that receiver. Remember the signature of a function. Signature of a function is func, receiver, identifier, which is the name of the function, like foo, parameters, returns code, right? And so here is our identifier, name, read, read at, reader. This must be the receiver. These are the parameters. Those are the returns. So when something has a receiver, it tells us, well, it's a function attached to a type, which means it's a method. So when we have pointer to a file, we have all these methods available. So one of the methods that's available is this read method. This read method is a special method in the Go programming language in that it allows you to implement an interface. We're going to learn about <coughs> interfaces in a moment. And the interface that allows you to implement is the reader interface. So notice this signature here. Read, slice of bytes, int error. Read, slice of bytes, int error. So since any value of type pointer to file has this method, it implicitly implements the reader interface. So it is not only, in addition to being any value of type pointer to a file, in addition to being of type pointer to file, it is also of type reader. A value can be of more than one type. When you can have a value be of more than one type, you can start doing interesting things with your code, which allows your code to be more flexible. You could have your code implement interfaces. And so here, if we come down to scanner, scanner takes a reader. <coughs> Anything that implements the reader interface can be passed into this function, new scanner. So we want to scan all of Moby Dick. No, War and Peace. Okay? So we're going to scan all of uh, War and Peace, and it's uh, from buff.io new scanner and it's going to return a scanner. So s colon equal buff.io new scanner we're going to pass in our file because our file implements has the read method which means it implements the reader interface and since it implements the reader interface buff.io new scanner takes a reader so it could take a file. Makes sense. You want to scan stuff. A file is something you might want to scan. And now that we've scanned it, we get all these methods. How do we know all these methods are available to any value of type pointer to a scanner? Because that's what the methods, those are methods attached to it. They have the receiver. And so now we have scan, and we have text, and we have split func. All right? And, uh, and so an example here, they have scanning words. So we do buff IO new scanner, and then we want strings. That's, that's just because they're turning this into a reader. Then we want scanner split and buff IO scan words. So we're going to split this. So S split, and it's going to be buff IO scan words.
And, uh, and so scan words is right here. So you just pass in this. Because uh, split takes a split font. So split takes a split funk. A split funk is anything with this signature. All right, so if I look for anything with that signature, there's only one. But if I copy this, come on. If I copy this, right, here are all the other methods. Sorry, here are all the functions with that signature. So split func. To split, you need a split func. And type split func is any function with this signature. And there's scan words. So we could say s split, which needs a split func, and buff io scan words is a split func. So now I'm saying split on the words, and now I'm ready to do for s dot scan, and then I'm going to get s dot text, and I could print that out if I want, or I could say it's equal to t, and thump dot print line t. And now when I run this, it's going to start printing out each individual word from War and Peace. Undefined War, Undefined Peace. Hey, it keeps splitting that. Oh, I need this. Sorry. Command C. All right, here are all the words. I stopped it. Let's count them. Uh, bar count int. And uh, we comment this out. Fifty six, five hundred sixty six thousand three hundred eleven words. Whoa, that was so fast, right? And now we could also do this M colon equal map string int. And we could say m s dot text plus plus, and uh, and then I could go. How can I find out the, how can I sort? How can I find out the largest words? I've got a map. And um, I'm counting each word. Every time it occurs, I'm adding one. The key is the word. If I range over that map, I could get out 
the, the word and the count. If I get out the word and the count, I want to um, be able to sort those. I don't know, I'm drawing a blank on how to sort them. But uh, I'm just thinking about this for a second. I guess we'll just do it this way. Key value colon equals range map and funk dot print f and um, word percent s and then tab 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 and uh, occurs and percent D and then that will be uh, the value is the the key is the word and the value is the count and we don't want those there they're not running okay uh, type map uh, string int is not line 18. M map string int. V declared and not used. Uh, it's key and value. And I want a new line. So here are all the different times those words occur. I'd like to sort that so I could see which one occurs the most. Anybody have an idea for sorting? You could sort slices. But I'm only storing Yeah, you know, kind of interesting, right? Yes occurs 290 times. All right. <laughs>